it in for it. So today we are building a separating toilet for our Honda Odyssey camper conversion. What I've researched, sewage is the combination of liquid and solid waste. And so by separating the two, then you keep the smell down, you make disposal easier, and you can use the solids as fertilizer and the liquid can just go down any drain. So to make traveling waste easier to deal with, we are building a bucket separating toilet. So we have our bucket, our bucket toilet seat lid. We have a cutting board that we've already cut down to size as a separating wall that's going to go in the bucket. And that is going to separate our trash bag that'll hold the solids from our FUD, our female urination device. The only other special part is from that, then we need to use some fittings and some tubing to get it into our liquids holder. So our first step is we are going to mount this inside of here with little L brackets that are also made from the cutting board. We need to drill some holes in this for these to get riveted to and then drill some holes in the bucket for the other side to get riveted to. So we added the tubing to the top of a water bottle. So this is gonna be the pee jug and we will have to make sure that it's lower than the bucket when we're done because otherwise gravity won't take. Well, the... with the current piping setup, it's not even gonna take the initial pee. True, because so. Because this is higher than when you're, where you're peeing from. True, so we already know that we're going to want to keep this lower than the bucket. It's a work in progress. Okay, at the end of our last time working on the bucket toilet, we figured out that there are some problems with it that could be improved. Mm -hmm. So- Some very big pee problems. Yes, okay. Most noticeably being that- The fittings we had Lay left way too much or required too much tubing to prevent kinking and then we had sections of tubing above the input so we had flow issues right so our solution to this is that we went out and got the same fittings but in l shapes so that hopefully we can Put them in various places so that the flow can be at the same level or lower by the end of this. So we're trying to fix our mistakes today. so far the bucket and then our cutting board which acts as a little divider to put the it's food. mainly just to hold to the, hold the what do you call that fund fpc <laughs> and none of it sounds good i don't it's not comfortable the attachment will sit in here and then we have a hole drilled right here as the output, um, the 
tubing will go through here and into this bucket. just cut a hole in one of the existing caps to water bottle and then cut this PVC um, female thread adapter and use the back portion of it as a washer to kind of clamp down on the cap and then we'll run some um, silicon caulk around the joint to make it watertight that way we can screw it on and off different bottles. connected via tubing Ooh. via tubing to this connector which connects this to the outside through that hole we showed earlier here and into the bucket right now it kind of picks up but when you have liquid in it it'll get heavier and sit down a little bit and then this can be tucked away in our little storage compartment when we need to shut it okay so this is, if I had to go to the bathroom, how I would use it. <laughs> oh my goodness, this feels so tiny. Okay. Okay. I just lock it. This is great. And I just sit and I would go to the bathroom. There we go. Okay, all done. So we have updated the bucket toilet because the previous FUD had a crack in it. Kind of hard to see, but it's down near my thumb. Um, so that was no longer watertight or usable. And we we're having some issues with the piping being a little too long and causing loops. So we were able to cut that down, make it more of a direct run, which should help with the flow. And then using this Tsunani FUD that's a softer silicone gives some more flexibility um, and so that allows it to get tucked away more easily and also allows us to run some shorter pipes so hopefully this will work well we're going to try it out on our road trip and have some but I have a better understanding of what works and what doesn't after we get to try it out a couple times. <laughs>